What's going on? I'm making this video for a couple of friends that have asked me about some mods I've made on my 3D printer. This is a Flash Forge Creator X dual extrusion printer. I've had it for a little while and I, I like it. It's a really good printer. Very easy to take out of the box and set up and use. Um, very, very good printer. A couple of things about it I don't like. One of them being the 24 volt power supply which, you know, it's pretty common, 24 volts for a 3D printer, you know, that's it's pretty common. Um, the only downside is most of the things I have that I want to add on to it run off of 12 volts, such as an extruder fan to cool down the filament while it's printing, um, additional lights inside to light up the heated bed, uh, I mean, just to light up the interior of the printer just so I can see better while it's printing. Uh, a lot of people they use an external power adapter to run their 12 volt applications which is fine the downside of that is you have to plug that in when you start to print and then when you're done printing and you want to turn everything off that's a just an additional thing you have to either unplug or turn off and I really didn't want to do that um, something I set up and I've used these in a lot of other props that I've built for haunted houses and attractions and stuff like that are these DC to DC, DC converters. Um, so what you can see right here is I just tapped into the extra power rails on the 24 volt power supply and come to the input on the DC to DC converter and you can adjust the voltage from uh, 5 volts up to 32 volts. So I have the 24 volts coming into it and then 12 volts coming out and right now it's running up to a uh, a fan that I installed on the outside of the printer. Here's the connector for it. I'm going to change the connector. This is just a Dean's connector, um, which is typically used in the RC car form and stuff like that. But uh, I use it because that's what I had right now, but I'll probably change it out for something a little bit smaller. Uh, the reason why I put a connector in is because the fan is on the outside panel. You know, if I want to take the panel off, if I didn't put this connector in, it'd be really hard to have the panel just laying to the side while still connected to all this wiring. So put the connector in, I can undo the connector, take the panel off and do whatever I need to do, and then put it back on and reconnect it. Um, so I've seen a lot of people use the external power adapter, but what this allows you to do is have one switch to control your additional fans and your additional lighting. This comes on when you turn the power on for the printer itself, shuts off when you turn the power off. Um, I put it right in front of this fan which blows onto the printer control board so it would draw air across the voltage regulator here and cool it down to some degree since you're going from 24 volts to 12 volts there's going to be some heat on the device. Eventually what I'm going to do is print off an enclosure for this and either do a duct that connects the fan to the enclosure or have a fan running on the enclosure itself. Um, another mod that I did, I can't show you right now without flipping the printer over and that just be a lot of work, is I put a 40 millimeter fan on one of the uh, stepper motors to cool it down. I noticed it was getting extremely hot while printing large prints, so I put a stepper motor on it and it cools it down a lot. By the time it's done with a two hour print, it's barely even warm. I'll show that in a future video so you can see how it looks. A couple of the upcoming things I'm going to change on this is the biggest one that I see complained about is the power switch being in the back. I have to reach around back, reach around a spool of your filament and then turn it on there, turn it off there. Um, it's fairly simple to move and rewire so I think I'm going to you know, take it out of the back, wire it into the front somewhere to where it doesn't look bad. Um, and that way you can just turn it on and off from the front without needing to reach around the back. The space that I have here is very tight, so reaching around back to turn it on and off every day is a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to fix that and change it. I'm also going to change the LED strip that lights up and changes colors while it's heating and printing and stuff like that. I'm going to change it to 12 volts to run off of this voltage regulator, and that way I can put three additional strips in the printer and have them all do the same thing. It'll still light up the same way and still will change colors because I'll tap into the data lines coming from the printer board but use the 12 volts off of the voltage converter to power it. Um, that'll be in a later video. 
Um, I'm also going to sleeve a bunch of these wires just so it looks better and it better air, you know, it creates a better airflow from underneath the printer. Um, and maybe do a couple other things that I'll show you in a future video. But for right now, that's the biggest thing I wanted to show. These voltage regulators, I'll put a link um, to where you can buy them from Amazon. They're about $10 for a pack of five of them, which is a very good deal. You can buy one by itself for around $5, or you can spend four more dollars and get five of them. Um, so I just went ahead and get five. Like I said, I've used these numerous times. I've probably used 40 or 50 of these while building props and different things for people on some of the haunt forums and the prop forums that I'm part of online. They're good just to have around. You never know when you're going to need one. They're, they're great. You can do um, 12 volts in and drop it down to 5 volts, 12 volts in and drop it down to 3 if you're running you know, low power LEDs. They're just great to have around. Um, so that's it for now. Let me know, know what you guys think about this. I'm curious to see what uh, you've done to combat the issue of having a 24 volt power supply. A lot of people went out and bought 24 volt fans, which is fine if you don't already have fans laying around. I have uh, a ton of fans that are all 12 volts or either out of computers or you know laser setups that I've built. Um, so I just wanted to go the cheaper route and get something like this to where I can use the existing products I already have, such as the lights, the fans, and anything else I wanted to use. Um, also curious as to what you guys think about the FlashForge 3D printers. I know a lot of people have them. More people are getting them. The price point compared to the MakerBot and you know the Ultimaker, you know the price points a little bit better. Now the Ultimaker is definitely a better printer. It's quicker. The resolution's better. Um, but for people that can't afford $2,500 for their first 3D printer, I think this is a really good choice. This is my first 3D printer uh, as an all-in-one setup. I've built a couple of rep wraps in the past, and you know it's definitely not the same. So just curious as to what you guys think. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question, and uh, I'll get back to you guys. For now, you have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later.